greenteaguru.co.uk offers green tea, white tea, black tea, oolong tea, and we absolutely love pu'er tea with offerings of Misty Peaks, Yunnan Sourcing, Mung Hai, and Shagwa. We regularly visit Hong Kong and Guangdong, sourcing out very interesting and special cakes for your tea table. Green Tea Guru, based in UK with worldwide delivery. Guys, hello again and welcome. It's Ollie from greenteaguru.co.uk. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, today I am very excited. I'm very excited because I've tried this tea already. Um, of course I have. Um, and um, it is a banger, absolute banger. Um, well, the thing is, it's kind of down the tracks of what I really enjoy. Um, this particular cake is called the 2009 Chen Sheng Hao. Um, I'm so glad to have uh, stumbled by this producer. Um, now, the reason why I love um, this tea so much there's a few factors involved. Um, so, as you might or might not know, um, I'm a big fan of Guangdong storage teas. Um, this one has been resting in Guangdong um, for a, um, a very long time. It's a 2009 cake. <coughs> now, I am not a massive fan of how cakes evolve post 10 years in Guangdong, Hong Kong. I appreciate it, it's great. <coughs> but, um, there is something very special, I believe, about cakes that are between a sort of four and eight year mark um, from that region. Um, and this is one of them. Um, so what you're going to get in, in generally with, uh, with raw pu'ers of, of that sort of age in those conditions is um, it's a very sweet, um, sometimes honey or nectar tone, um, uh, which is very prevalent among these cakes. Um, now. This particular cake um, is around the sort of age that I really enjoy, from an area that I really enjoy. Um, but when I tasted this cake, um, I was blown away. I was absolutely blown away um, because the flavor is just mental. <laughs> it's so sweet. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a pricey cake. It's expensive. Um, now, on Green Tea Guru's site, 100 grams of this cake will set you back £26.50. Ouch! It's pricey, um, but um, for reasons um, that um, the taste, reasons, the taste is the only reason. The taste is so good, um, it really is worth that money. Um, let's dig in and see what this cake's all about. All right, guys, let's do a quick close up of this cake. Um, you can see here, 2009, so it's, um, it's pretty well aged. Uh, but the Guangdong storage um, has really sort of browned off these leaves. Um, what you'll find is if this was left in Guangdong any longer, uh, let's say sort of two, three, four years, um, this will get pretty dark, I believe. Um, but, um, you know, it's very nicely compressed. It's not overly impressed. It's not an iron cake or anything like that. Um, the leaves come across, um, uh, come away very easily. Um, so I've got some loose leaf here. I'm going to use that to throw it straight into my Gai Wan. Uh, me, I'm, I'm so loose with the Gong Fu method. Um, I'm just going to throw in what I think is acceptable. Um, any more or any less, you know, personal preference, whatever. So I'm throwing in there. I'm just really sort of covering the bottom of the Gai Wan. See what sort of aromas we can pick up from this tea. All right, so that signature Guangdong storage aroma coming through. And what I mean by that is a beautiful nectar, honey aroma rising through up the nose. It's lovely. So with this particular tea, when it's burning hot just after you've done the infusion, you won't notice anything. You wait till that heat dies down um, and then the aroma is very prevalent. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that's a good five seconds or so, isn't it? The aroma is still pushing out that, that lovely sort of aged sweetness that I really enjoy. Honey and nectar. The 
Um, broth is, I'd say it's turning yellow. So that's moving into orange. Not quite there, not quite there. The orange. Light. Being in Guangdong, uh, the bitterness, the, um, the astringency has been pushed down. Um, it is fairly noticeable, it's still noticeable, it's, it's, it's extremely low, extremely low, but you know, it's, how old is this tea? It's about eight years old. Um, it's still there, it's still very low. That bitterness that is still there, is folding slowly over the palate into a sweetness. But being the first infusion, it's, it's very light, it's very light. Sort of the, the honey nectar is, it's there, it's, it's, it's coming, but it's, it's very faint, as you know. Smooth. So, as we're doing the second infusion, I'll tell you a very interesting story uh, about this guy. Um, Mr. Chen Sheng He, Mr. Chen Sheng He, um, he rose to notoriety um, about sort of seven years ago or so. Um, what he effectively did, he went to Lao Ban Zhang, uh, the most sought after um, and expensive tea region of the whole of Yunnan. He went over there, he must have a lot of money uh, because he signed contracts with a hundred local tea farmers giving him exclusive rights uh, to the Lao Ban Zhang material of those farmers, um, kind of cornering the market. Um, so he got noticed pretty quickly. Um, since then he's moved on to other growing areas. A particular cake is from Yu. Um, and um, he has many cakes. This is the first cake of his that I've tried. Um, he's got a very good reputation. So what I would suggest, if you find any more cakes by this supply, and I'm very much determined to get some in myself, um, don't worry too much. Uh, this is a, a guy with a very good reputation. He has cakes that are so expensive. He has cakes that aren't so expensive. There's a nice mid-range going on, but from what I've heard about his other cakes, um, you shouldn't be disappointed. This is, this is a good guy. These are good cakes. This is good tea. All right, guys, sipping down with infusion number two. Uh, let's go for it. Ooh. Just, it's like, it's honey, but um, like a toasted sort of honey. Uh, just booming. Just so sweet. It sort of folds back onto the, on, onto the back of your palate there. It sort of lingers to the back of your palate and just sort of hangs. I just had to take a quick bone call um, for a couple of minutes and you know, the, the, the sweetness is still there. It's still lingering. Um, a sign of a very nice tea indeed. Now how do I feel this cake would be if it was left in Hong Kong or uh, Guangdong um, in another five years? Um, hard to say, it depends how the storage is, um, but you see the, uh, the the earthiness start to creep in uh, sometimes, um, which I feel with this particular tea would be a bit of a loss because I really respect this tea for where it is right now um, with this insane sweetness. I'm sure the sweetness would carry on through, but um, the added complexity of too much aging, for me personally, um, I don't know. Uh, maybe I feel it's a little bit of a risk. Um, but everyone's different, everyone's different, everyone's different. For me, this is um, an extremely good version of what I like in a Guangdong tea. It's the, for me, the, the perfect age. Um, the storage is great, it's not, um, it, it's not wet storage, it's been dry stored. So the, um, uh, the progressive nature of, of cakes being left in Guangdong isn't gonna hit this tea so much um, because it's, you know, the, the humidity has been held back somewhat for where, for where it's located. Um, the leaves, um, they're, they're turning green. So, you know, this is going down the brown route. You can see in the guy one there where it is. Along with those toasted notes, you get the, the tiniest whiff of, um, of more humid storage. Um, but it just, it 
it's so minute, it really is in the background, and just adds to the complexity. Um, I think really on the whole, this cake has been stored fabulously. Um, and I'll say it again, it's a great expression um, of what I love um, in a Guangdong storage tea. Um, at the perfect age to enjoy it. Um, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you wanna uh, grab some of this tea and experiment, it, experiment with it yourself, um, please head on down to the Green Tea Guru website, greenteaguru.co.uk. Um, I appreciate uh, you stopping by, and um, as always, happy cupping.